Since its founding in 1978, the Archives of Appalachia has been recognized as a leading center for researching the culture and history of the Southern Appalachian region. With nearly two miles of manuscripts, a quarter million photographs, 90,000 audio and video recordings, and 14,000 books, the Archives can support research and creative projects on any number of topics, from folklore to environmental studies, from health and medicine to education, from music to politics, from railroad history to linguistics. We're excited to welcome you into the community of thousands of visitors from across the globe who have researched here. When you arrive on campus for your visit, you'll want to drop by parking services to get a guest parking pass for the day. This will let you park in any of the lots on campus otherwise reserved for faculty and staff. You can also print a guest pass in advance from your computer at home. Once you've parked, you can locate the archives reading room in these three simple steps. First, find the Charles C. Sherrod Library on the southeast side of campus. Next, once inside the library, take the elevators or the stairs to the fourth floor. Finally, make your way to room 422 and you'll find our research area. We're open Monday through Friday from 9 o'clock to 4.30 p.m., but be sure to call ahead and check our website to learn about holiday closings or other changes to our hours. Before you begin, you'll want to get settled into our space. Archive staff can assist you in filling out a registration form and getting access to a locker, where you can secure your bags and store any food or drink you may have brought. You can keep your laptop, digital camera, and paper with you. If you haven't already familiarized yourself with our archives database, you can log into our research computers to identify the material you need. A staff member will retrieve your items while you wait. We have dedicated research spaces for working with books, manuscripts, and oversized maps or posters. We also have specialized equipment for viewing photographs, watching digitized film, and listening to rare audio recordings. If you need to make a copy or get a digital scan for your future study, we offer a range of duplication services to suit your needs. When it's time to break for lunch, a list of nearby restaurants is available at the archives desk. While you're researching, you may notice a group of ETSU students using our smart classroom. Visitors also enjoy browsing the James H. Quilling Congressional Office and exploring the many exhibits we curate in the archives. Before you leave, be sure to take some time to relax and enjoy one of the best views at ETSU. We look forward to meeting you soon.